Hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com here and today we're going to be looking at the relationship between the T distribution and the F distribution. First, let's say T is equal to a standard normal divided by square root of a chi-square degree of freedom, say P, divide that by its degree of freedom. Say the normal, the variable that is normal and the variable that is chi-square are independent. Then we know that this thing here, T will follow distribution, a T distribution with degree of freedom P. Right, what's the relationship to the F? Well, let's square this T. If we square this T, we're going to have a squared normal on the top. On the bottom, that whole thing, that's square root there already, so we're simply just going to get this. Now look at it. Does it in any way resemble an F? Well, this thing here is a standard normal square, and it's just one of these normals in the top, so that's chi-square 1. Moreover, I just told you that the, we've just said that suppose the normal and the chi-square in, independent, then this chi-square 1 and the chi-square p independent. So, think about the relationship between the chi-square, ratio of chi-squares to the f. It's just a small step to see that. If we divide the top by its respective degree of freedom, 1, it's still anything divided by 1 is itself, so this is the same as that. And the bottom is chi-square p divided by p. Oops. Ratio of two squares chi squared by their respective degree of freedom, it's going to be is f one p one for the numerator, p for the degree of freedom on the denominator. In other words, in short, t square is equal to f one p. Let's do this in a different color. One. So note that t square is equal to the f distribution when the degree of freedom in the numerator is one, yes, but and uh, no nothing no restriction on the degree of freedom in the denominator, but the one in the numerator must be one. If it's something else, then t square will not be equal to the f. When might you see this result? You might look out for this result next time when you do in econometrics when you look at the simple linear regression model and you're looking at t statistics and f statistics on um, in the basic uh, econometrics or statistical um, regression package okay right so that was a nice short and sweet